Hi, thanks for stopping into the Dr. Kayak channel today. You can call me Mitch, or a lot of people call me other things. <laughs> today I want to talk about relationships. Listen, there are so many things that interfere with successful relationships. Of course, early on, when people are just getting to know each other, we, they, treat each other with care and respect. But as our feelings and relationships develop, we become careless. We don't watch our tongues, and we slip and spout off, often surprising our partners with this new attitude. Where is that coming from? Soon we are keeping score, complaining, and trying to manipulate each other into being the person we either thought they were or wished they were. Personally, from my experience, I've learned that this tactic doesn't work. The old adage rings true, a leopard never changes its spots. I've written pages upon pages of relationship advice for men. What to do and what not to do. Who you should run from or run to. The problem with giving advice is, if you're young, you're never gonna take the advice. And if you're experienced, well, you already know and you just may be too jaded to pursue a loving, lasting, and meaningful relationship. This usually happens to us folks who've been through the proverbial mill and are doing just fine on our own. We're in our 40s and 50s and 60s. But there comes a time when we enter our later years in life, when we become concerned about growing old and being alone or lonely, or worried about needing someone to lean on when we're too old and too tired and too scared. What then? You still have to put up with someone else's quirks, their belief systems, their habits, and all the things that go with combining two souls into one household. Sometimes it's just too much to bear. So how do you know when it's too much? What do you do? Do you throw in the towel and call it quits? Do you tolerate each other? Do you, God forbid, compromise? Our scope of existence is limited to what we're subjected to within our own society very limited. It's what we think we know. We are completely unaware of other societies around the world. We believe that what we conform to is right or just. There are things people do in our society that are unforgivable, while in other societies these same things are completely normal. But I digress. There are some things that men do that are different from how women do things. We see and do and say things completely different than women do. We're different. Problems arise in relationships when we fail to communicate and understand very basic fundamentals between the sexes. I've compiled a list of 13 things from a man's point of view that may help women understand the simplistic workings of the male mindset. So here we go. We're going to call this the man list. Are you ready? Number one, you have to start with the toilet seat, right? I've been told always, put the toilet seat down. But how come men never tell the women, hey, put the toilet seat up? Listen, if your ass gets wet, that's on you. Look before you leap. That's rule number one. I'm sticking to that one. Number two, I'm not a mind reader. Ask for what you want. Subtle hints don't work. Strong hints don't work. Obvious hints don't work. Number three, yes or no. That's right. The word yes or the word no are acceptable answers to almost every question we ask. If you need to follow it with a story, give me the answer first. Number four, you come to me with a problem only if you want help solving it. Because that's what men do. Number five, stop keeping score. Everything I say becomes null and void after seven days. Number six, don't ask me if your pants make you look fat. Honey, your fat makes you look fat. Number seven, you can either ask me to do something or tell me how you want it done. But you can't do both. If you already know the best way, do it yourself. Number eight, Whenever possible, please say whatever you have to say when I'm not watching television. Number nine, I see in 16 colors like a basic box of crayons. For example, peach 
is a fruit, not a color. Pumpkin, also a fruit. I have no idea what mauve is, so let's just call colors what they are. Red, black, blue. Oh, how about black and white? <laughs> I'm basic, man. Number 10. If I ask what's wrong and you say nothing, then get over it. Number 11. If you ask a question you don't want an answer to, don't ask it. Number 12. Don't ask me what I'm thinking about unless you're prepared to discuss such topics as sex, fishing, camping, or this one. Sex. Yeah, yeah, that, that one. Because that's all we think about. And last but not least, number 13. Drum roll, please. No, I'm not sleeping on the couch tonight. I don't want to. I paid for the bed and the couch. I'll sleep where I want. All right, so there it is. My big 13 point list of how men are fallible. <laughs> and it's just the way it is. Like, subscribe, tell me I'm full of beans. I don't care. This is all meant in tongue in cheek and I have no cure for relationships. So if you're having a hard time, don't ask me.